So in this autotrophic mode of nutrition, plants, they produce molecules like carbohydrates. So do they produce only carbohydrates? No. Along with carbohydrates, they also produce certain substances called as proteins and lipids. These are also useful biochemicals. So other organisms are dependent on plants, heterotrophic mode of nutrition, other animals are dependent on plants for their food. So we get these carbohydrates, proteins and lipids from plants. Plants basically they make carbohydrates, apart from carbohydrates they make proteins and they also even make lipids. So here if all the organisms are dependent on plants, someday all the plants must be used up. They might be disappeared from the environment. It is not happened so because the plants are specially grown for food. By using seeds, new plantation, new crops, we grow plants for the production of food. So every plant, it has the mechanism of converting the simple organic materials into complex materials like carbohydrates, uh, proteins and lipids. So what are the materials that the plant uses? We discussed that uh, carbon dioxide, water and it needs some minerals. So the source of minerals is the soil. So plant, it get the minerals from the soil. Soil supply the minerals. So apart from the soil, the plant, it requires some other materials. It was proven by the experiments conducted by Van Helmont. So he conducted several experiments and he told that plants need something else than the soil. So by that time, by his time, it was not known that plant require carbon dioxide, plant require sunlight, plant require this and that. So people used to believe that soil is the source of materials to the plant to grow and to produce food. But it was not a fact. It was disproved by Van Helmont by his experiments. He showed that along with the soil, some other materials are used by the plants to prepare the food materials. Okay, here we understood that the plants are the producers. They are the chief producers of food for all the other organisms on this planet. So how they are able to make the food? There is a mechanism which is called as photosynthesis. Two hundred years ago, this mechanism, the details about this mechanism was not known to the people. So they were having different ideas like plants, they use only the soil to make the food and all. But it was not known clearly how the plants are able to prepare the food material. So later it was found by a scientist named as C.B. Van Neel. In 1931, he found the process how the plants were able to make the food and he named it as photosynthesis. So, According to this photosynthesis, the plants are able to convert the carbon dioxide water into carbohydrate. So this was given by this scientist in the form of an equation. So he noticed that for by the formation of each glucose molecule, that is for the formation of one glucose molecule along with the glucose molecule, one water molecule and one oxygen molecule is also produced. So here we see that photosynthesis is a very complex chemical process which takes place in the plants and during the process the product glucose is formed. This is the end product. This is the substance which provide energy. So that material is formed along with this material one molecule of water, one molecule of oxygen is formed for one glucose molecule. So it is given in the form of an equation. So that is carbon dioxide plus water gives rise to oxygen plus water. 